Denise with Artist Heart Paint Party, you have to customize it. Make something that you like. Make it personal to you. However that is. Oh! <laughs> That's so cute! I love his little hat. You could be painting your bunny in. I just, so this is a pretty spring bunny and I think that nice, lighter, you know, softer colors look really nice for spring pastel. As big or as small as you want. Hey Nisi. Hey Rach. Can you slow down a little bit? Sure thing. Actually, I thought it was almost looking like a butterfly, but uh, I thought it would be cool and I had an apple today, so I saved the core. <laughs> That's a great. I wasn't sure if it would work or not, but I thought I'd give it a try. Yeah, I really like that you're reusing the material that may not seem to have a purpose and might have otherwise been thrown out. Right. Well, hi, you guys. I'm Denise with Artist at Heart. Who's ready for summer? I'm ready for summer. Yay. All right, you guys. Um, I just want to say real quick if you're in StreamYard, so I see five classes in StreamYard with me. StreamYard is the platform I use to bring you up on camera. So, and then you guys can watch me big screen on YouTube. So as an example, I see Miss Wagner's class, Miss Camp's class, Miss Kulik's class, Miss Agarashi cla class, and, and I'm sorry if I say the name wrong, and Miss, I should just say Miss L's class, Miss Liz. Lizzieic. Sorry, you guys. But if you want to go on camera, so right now the only ones that I see down below are Miss Camp's class. I, I'm actually going to click on you guys. Wave at me, you guys. Wave at me. All right. Wave at the camera. There you go. Hi, you guys. Yay. Welcome, welcome. All right. So that's what StreamYard does, just so you guys know. So Many times, if we're live, if you guys are watching live, you're going to see a, a StreamYard link, and the link allows you to come on camera. The other link is the YouTube link where you can watch, but it does not allow me to bring you on camera through YouTube without using the StreamYard platform, okay? I just want to get that uh, clear to you guys. All right, so who's ready for summer? I am so ready for summer. I love sunshine. I love going to the beach. So I don't know what your favorite beach is. Is your favorite beach in Cleveland? Is it Lake Erie? Do you like to go to Menor Headlands? Do you like, I don't know, where do you guys like to go? I like to go to Florida. <gasps> Florida. You know what? I'm going to Orlando next week. I'm so excited. Who likes Orlando? Have you ever been to Orlando? It's going to be hot, but I like hot and I like summer. So, and I like to travel to you guys. All right. So, So my sister keeps texting me. If you guys don't know, Miss Matioski is my sister. And she keeps texting me to go slow, take my time. So um, I am going, she doesn't want me to start yet. So I'm going to tell a joke because, you know, if I don't tell jokes, people are like, why don't you tell any jokes? All right, you ready? What do you get when you combine an elephant with a fish. What do you get when you combine an elephant with a fish? Anybody know? Swimming trunks! <laughs> uh, hi, KT class. All right, you guys. So we see lots of people um, that are down below. All right. So you guys, I want you to think of your favorite things to bring to the beach. It doesn't have to be the same things that I have, right? So I always have a big swim bag full of, well, snacks for sure. So I like to bring things that won't melt. I mean, I'd love to eat ice cream on the beach, but it wouldn't last very long, would it? So I love to have lemonade and chips. I like chips. Apples, I'm going to throw in a healthy snack in there. Apples good at the beach, right? It'll stay good in a beach bag. Won't melt on you. 
So anyways, I want you guys to think watermelon. You can bring watermelon to your, you can have a picnic on your beach blanket. You could add yourself. So if you're at Lake Erie, maybe you have, oh, I love to find little pieces of beach glass on the sand. That's a great thing. If you guys ever go to the beach, you can look for beach glass. It's beautiful. And you could do collage projects with it too. So that's one of my favorite things to do at the beach. And if I'm in Florida, I like to collect seashells. And what else do I like to do at the beach? So seashells, beach glass, those are things I love to collect and do. Of course, I love to sit on a float and, and swim around. Um, and if you're in Lake Erie, right, you don't want to really add dolphins because we don't have dolphins. We don't have sharks. And But if your favorite beach is Hilton Head or... Or if your favorite beach is Florida, you guys can always add dolphins jumping out of the water. You could put a shark in the water. Okay. And um, let's see. <laughs> my sister wants you to see my ponytails. All right. So I had to change the camera a little bit. I don't know if I... So you could see the whole sketchbook. But you... Then if I... This is hard to set up the camera. After two years of being virtual, you think I get it right, but I still don't. You know what my other funny favorite thing is in the summer is messy hair. I have messy hair a lot. This is as good as it gets right now, you guys. It's early. I'm lucky I got ponytails in, but... <laughs> Oh, and I love to tie dye too. So anyways, these are just a few of my favorite things. All right, we're ready to go. So you guys, I want you to use a pencil. I'm going to use a marker so you can see it better on camera. Thank you for waiting so patiently. All right, so you guys, I am going to start. So my paper is horizontal or in landscape. And I'm going to start with a big beach umbrella, okay? So, and you guys can use your favorite colors. Don't, you don't have to use the same colors as me. So watch this. I'm going to do like an arch right on this side of my paper. And yours does not have to look like mine. So watch. And use a pencil so in case you have to erase. I'm going to do an arch like a rainbow, but it's kind of off to the side. Do you see that? And then I'm going to put kind of a stretched out smile here. Smile. Then I'm going to add a line here and a line here. So this is the top of my beach umbrella. All right. I know you. she likes when you see me, so I'm going to come back on camera. Can you see my ponytails, my messy ponytails? And there's the tip of my you know, like where the little prong is that holds the pole. Oh my gosh, you guys, it was so windy of the other day. My umbrella blew off my deck and hit my roof. I can't believe it. It was so windy here. All right. So I'm going to go down over and a little diagonal line right there. See that? It's almost like an upside down V. And then I'm going to go over and up. Again, like a little upside down V. That's like the little ruffle at the bottom of the umbrella. And then I'm going to do the stick that holds the umbrella. So I'm going to do a diagonal line here and a diagonal line here. So my, my umbrella is going to be going into the beach sand, right? So next to my umbrella is going to be my beach ball. So you guys decide, again, if you want a beach ball or not, you don't have to, but a good shape for a beach ball would be a circle. It doesn't have to be perfect. So there's my beach ball, and then I'm going to put like a baby circle in here like that. And then I'm going to add my lines like that. And just do your best. It, again, it does not have to look like mine. So now I'm going to add the, this can be the sand where the sand meets the water. So I'm going to do it to horizontal line, but it's going to be a little bit wavy. All right, I'll come back a little because I know you are enjoying my messy ponytails. So I'm going to do a line like this. I'm going to jump over the pole and I'm going to keep going. Okay, so the, this is going to create the illusion, right, that the umbrella is in front of where the sand meets the water. 
Okay. And then I'm going to put another line over here. So this is going to be where the water meets the sky. Not really. It's an illusion. Okay. And then over here, I'm going to put a circle for the sun and your sun could look different than mine. I'm going to go. Ooh, 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 ooh. But yours can be different. You could just have little lines coming off like sun rays. And then here's my cloud. And if you want, you could put little lines in the water, like wavy lines. And think about it again. If you're at Lake Erie, Meadow Headlands, you don't want to add you know, you could have fish, you could have little fish in the water, walleye, we have a lot of walleye. Or if you're in Hilton Head, you could add, again, um, sharks or dolphins jumping out of the water, whatever it is that you want. All right, so I'm going to do my, um, ba, ba, ba. let's do, way down here, I'm going to have a little baby shovel. So I'm going to do a little line here like that with the handle. And your shovel can look different than mine. It kind of looks like a spoon, but that's okay. And then here I'm going to put a little baby circle with an arch. And this is going to be my bucket. I love sandcastles. So you could add a sandcastle if you want. Here's my little bucket. Okay. You know, finish that circle in there like that. Are you guys keeping up with me? Okay. Here, I'm going to make this float. What do you call this? Inner tube thing? Like that. It almost looks like a stretched out letter C, right? Because I'm going to give it the illusion that it's behind this pail here. And then I'm going to do this, like this. And you could put a design on it if you want. So I added some stars to mine. But if you don't like stars, don't do stars. If you have a favorite inner tube with your favorite colors, make it that way. It could have a pattern. It could have smiley faces whatever because it's your artwork so you have to make it your own with whatever it is that you like right all right so right now everything looks like it's floating doesn't it so i'm going to add the um well let me put the bag this is my bag you guys but your bag could have like the cleveland indians logo oh they're not the indians anymore you could have the guardians on it you could do uh like a basketball. Um, again, this is your bag. So what's your swim bag look like? Or it could just be any bag. So I'm going to do a little baby circle here and a little baby circle here. And I'm going to do like a rainbow arch, arch it like that. And I'm going to do another one. So these are my handles. Okay. And then I'm going to, this little tube here, this is my sunblock. So I don't get burnt. So I could stay in the sun all day long. SPF 100. He he he. No, it's really probably like 55. Waterproof. Got to get the waterproof stuff. Okay, my mine's gonna have stripes, but you guys again decide what you want. It could be. It could have SpongeBob on it. Do you guys know who SpongeBob is? I mean, I, I can't keep up with the cartoons of today. So, okay, now I'm going to do the blanket. So here's this part of my beach blanket goes into the inner tube and then it comes behind the um, spoon, whatever you want to call it. And then I guess I'll need a spoon for my ice cream. Now, if you want to put a little seashell, I'm going to put a little seashell here. So there's a seashell, so you know 
then mine would not be Lake Erie unless you bring seashells with you. Now I didn't close my blanket. So I'm going to close my beach blanket right here. And then again, make a design on your beach blanket. I'm going to do stripes. I got a lot of stripes going on here. And then to give the illusion of the sand, you could just put little dots and little dots will create this texture or the illusion of sand, right? So wherever your sand is, you could put some little dots. And again, you could put little crabs. Uh, I remember when we went to Hilton Head and Darcy's children, Mrs. Matiaski's kids were really little and Rachel went out in the water with me and she was hanging on to me and she's like, something's biting my feet. And I'm like, oh no, you're fine. And we went out of the water and, and she had all these little um, jellyfish bites on her feet. And a lot of, I don't know why they were biting the kids and she was fine. They washed it off with like vinegar. So it didn't sting. All right. So your, again, yours could be, you could put a little sign that says um, beach party or uh, summertime, right? Whatever it is. So you guys, again, you can use your favorite colors. What I want to share with you is some of you have been sending me photos. So I wanted to share a few. I thank you so much. This is um, from Miss Hinton's homeroom on Instagram. She shared that when we did the patriotic flag with opt art. So thank you so much for sharing that. I greatly appreciate it. And I think that Annalyn did a beautiful job on that, which I'm sure most of you did. And I have, when we did, um, Bob. So this is a great, I just loved your bobs the way they came out. They just, you guys did a great job with that as well. And then the hallway, when you guys hung up the artworks in the hallway, okay, dressed in costume for the Bob book. I love that also. So I, you guys, I love when you send me pictures. And we have some staff here from field day, <laughs> right? I heard field day was a great day. More Bob pictures. And then um, some of you have been doing other classes. So I'm going to share with you some of the ladybug pictures. Look at that. I love that. And I want you to pay attention to how different everyone's is because that's what I love about it, right? Is that the colors are different and the style is different. And look at the bird above the ladybugs. I think the bird's like, it's lunchtime. Look at that. So that's the best part for me of art is that there's no right or wrong and you make it your own and everyone has a different style and using your favorite supplies. So thank you guys for sharing pictures with me. Again, if you email them to me, you can send them through social media, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, whatever you have, Artists at Heart Paint Party, and I would be happy to share them with you guys. You got to keep creating over the summer, right? You got to keep creating while you're having fun. Keep learning. Keep reading. Ha just have a great time. And even if you go to the beach, you could bring a sketchbook with you. All right, let's color. So here's what I want you guys to think about. So if the water is going to be blue and the sky is going to be blue and you're going to have blue in your in your beach ball, if you have different blues, that would be great. So maybe the sky could be really light blue. Maybe the water would be a greenish blue. Maybe you mix crayons together to come up with a new color, right? So you guys decide whatever colors you want to use and color it in. Now I'm going to leave, so I'm going to leave my cloud white. My cloud is going to be the white of the paper. And I am going to make my sun yellow. And remember, you don't have to keep up with me. So if you're not done drawing, keep drawing. And you can always do it again later, right? And do it again and do it again and do it again and change it and make it your own. So I'm going to leave my cloud white.
So this page can rip out right here. I can go all the way up if I want to, but I'll just draw a line over there. Now, if you guys are coloring the whole piece of paper, maybe you put a piece of paper underneath you so you don't get it all over the table. Maybe you already did that, or maybe you leave a little border so you don't color off the edge of the paper. See how I'm coloring around my cloud? So I'm gonna leave my cloud white. And you can outline everything black later. So mine, you know, is already black so you can see it better. But I like to outline black at the end and then that way I can cover up anywhere I go out of the line. How about you could put, think of the things you could also put in the sky. You could add a kite. Did you ever fly a kite at the beach or even at home? Oops, I just see that. I just went out, right out of the line, but I'm going to cover it up with a, with a different blue. So I'm not, you know, going to act like what I do is perfect. It's not. I make mistakes. I just keep going. I do my best. I don't quit. I just keep going, take my time. All right, let's see another blue. I'm going to try to find a different blue for my, for my water. Let's see if this one looks different. So again, you can mix colors or you could find a different blue. Or maybe you use green for the water. Sometimes the water looks green. Depends, I guess, on where you are. And I will also say, so I was explaining before, if you guys were here early, I was saying StreamYard is the platform that I use to let you come on camera if you want. So if you want to come on camera, you have to turn your camera on. You guys can wave at me. So I know Miss Camp's class came on and now I can see Miss Her. All right. I'm going to have Miss Merhar's class. Hopefully Miss Merhar knows that's okay because I see them waving. Hi, guys. <laughs> Are you having fun? Yeah! Does anybody have a question for me? No. no. Oh, Alexa, do you want to ask her how about the dolphin? We had a friend that wanted to draw a dolphin and they wanted tips. Oh, well, let me get through the this part. Let me think about um so I'm I'm looking for a pencil. Let me, I'll, I'll work on a, a dolphin. <laughs> I'll flip a page in my sketchbook and I'll work on a dolphin. That's fine. Thank you. You guys, happy summer. Look, it, right? Happy summer. What's your favorite beach? What's your favorite beach? Myrtle. 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 All right, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for sharing. Say bye. bye. All right, and don't go in the water unless you know how to swim, okay? Because that's really important. You you guys, seriously, like, and pay attention to if they say there's a strong undercurrent or um, if the beach is closed because of the weather. Because seriously, like, I have been in the water where it just sucks me under, and it can be really, really dangerous. So just pay attention because there are rules for a reason. All right, a dolphin. I was like looking for my pencil. Let me see if I can sketch one out real quick. All right. So just real quick, I don't even have room on my, but you know what I could do? I'm just going to real quick sketch out a dolphin 
in the sky so you can see it. So think of the body like an arch, okay? Like that. And dolphins have really long snouts. I'm just putting it here so you can see it. Actually, I should have done it on another page, but because now I'm out of room. All right, we're going to we're going to do it on another page later. So this is the shadow of the dolphin. We're just going to ignore that. OK, because I ran out of room. We'll do it later. So but think of a dolphin as a big arch with a long snout, right? And then it has a fin on top. This is our, this is our sea monster coming out of the sky. Ah. Do you guys still have to clean out your desks before summer? Oh my gosh. I think I always had the messiest desk in my class. I try really hard to be as neat as possible, but it, it does not come naturally to me. Um, so I do my best, but. All right, so there's our water. Sometimes Lake Erie can look blue, but I think it looks brown a lot of the time, doesn't it? All right, I'm almost done with my water. So your water can be any color you want. So I, I heard a lot of people say Myrtle Beach as their favorite beach. You know what? I have never been to Myrtle Beach. Can you believe that? That should be one of my places to go. Myrtle Beach. We end up going to Hilton Head a lot. All right, there's, so I got to color the edge a little bit. So what color do you think is good for sand, right? Oh, I'm trying, Miss Stewart's class. Let's bring up, hi, Miss Stewart's class. I saw him waving at me, so I thought he wanted to come on. Hi, how are you? You Are you creating with me? Uh, let's see, Miss Wagner. Hi, guys. Are you creating? Hi. <laughs> They're so funny. Miss Liazak, do you? Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi. Are you having fun? Hi. Say hi. 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 Hi.
Okay. Do fish go on vacation? Do fish go on vacation, you guys? No, because they're always in school. <laughs> Get it? Why did the dolphin cross the beach? To get to the other tide. <laughs> Hi, guys. Lovely projector you got. <laughs> Hi, guys. All right, so how about if I find a good kind of, here, I'll use this color. Hopefully this is a good sand color. So I used a little bit more brown on the other one, and this one is more of like an orangey yellow. I call this macaroni and cheese yellow because it's like orange and yellow mixed together. It's a fun, bright color. It doesn't smell like macaroni and cheese, but isn't that the color of like macaroni and cheese? You know, the good kind with the powder. I don't think you should bring macaroni and cheese to the beach. Then all the seagulls are like hanging out by you trying to eat your snacks. So in this little tube here, right here, this is going to be sand too, because the it's sitting like half on the blanket. So this part's the blanket and then this part's the sand. Does that look like sand? So again, what could we do to make it look more like sand? Well, we could put more of those little dots on to add a little texture to the look of it, right? So little tiny dots to give it that illusion of sand. And again, you could put a little sand castle over here. You could put footprints, like footprints in the sand. How about flip-flops? You could add some flip-flops to it. How's it coming? Are you guys doing good? All right. Okay. So real quick, I'm going to take a mini, let's see. Oh, look at him. <laughs> Let's see if I have a blank page here. Here's a blank page. Okay. 
here's what I'm going to do, you guys. So here's... I'm going to do... This is the dolphin. Watch. You guys can practice with me if you want. So that's going to be the snap, right? And then I'm going to go up and over like that. And I'm going to come down a little bit like that. Now this is not going to be perfect. Dolphins always look like they're smiling, don't they? They always look happy. Okay. Now, it kind of looks like a fish. <laughs> right? So if I did it again, it probably would be a little bit better. Let me do one more. Ready? Let's see if I do this one better. So I'll try it over here. So let's start with that snout. i got to make sure I have enough room. So the snout, give him a smile in there now. Up, over. See, I really try to plan out my drawings. That's called composition. So I have room. That looks like a porpoise or something. <laughs> So the more I do it, the better I'm going to get at it. In my video vault, there are artworks. Oh, that was, hi, honey. Did I, I don't think I'm, did you want, I don't think I'm. All right. So you guys, I have a video vault, hundreds of art videos. Check it out. There's definitely a dolphin in the video vault. Okay. So we're just going to ignore that. And you're going to practice. And the more you do it, the better you're going to get at it. So again, now I want you to think of colors that you can do your umbrella that you haven't used yet. So let's say I want to do, I definitely want red in mine. I think red would look good on my umbrella here. Against the blue background. You can make it patriotic and make it red, white, and blue. Right? Maybe I'll do that. So this little ruffle here can be the same, or you can make it a different shade. I want to make my beach ball part red, too. Now, what else you could also do after you practice dolphins? Let's say you practice. Did you, you want to come on? Hi. You were waving at me. Did you want to come on? I don't think she wanted to come on. I can't tell. It looked like she was waving at me. All right. So um, let's see what else. Oh, yeah. I was going to do. How about if I do a different blue for my float? And I still have more jokes, you guys.
Oh my gosh, you know what else would be really cute is if you had like a mermaid, a mermaid in your water. Don't ask me how to draw that right now. We'll do another mermaid another day, but I'm just thinking if you guys can imagine it and maybe you add a mermaid to yours, maybe you add like uh, people, what do they call that? Parasailing in the sky, para, whatever. I've never done that either. It looks fun, but scary. I'm kind of afraid of heights. Parasailing. I bet you the view would be really cool, but again, I'm a little scared to do it. All right. And then how about which I could do? I'll make a red bucket. But again, you guys, I want you to do whatever colors you like. Yours does not have to match mine. Do that. And maybe I'll use purples for my beach blanket since I use so many other colors and I want something that's going to show up really nice. And you can make a pattern or it could be one color. I'm doing a pattern. And it could be more than two colors. It could be three colors. It could be a flag. Maybe pink would go with it. Purple or dark purple. Maybe a darker purple. And then I'll make this, don't forget about it, in here. That's the like edge of the blanket or towel. And you can put yourself you can put your head in the water, right? You can put yourself in there swimming. Playing frisbee. You can put a frisbee on the beach. So what color? I'm going to do I'm going to do my seashell pink. Hopefully this is, yeah, that's good. Pink shell or coral or peach, yellow. I, again, you guys use your favorite colors. I'm going to see if this, I'm going to use a brighter yellow for my shovel here and my handle. And then what about... Oh, the beach, sunblock. Well, I don't know if this yellow is going to, let's see if this yellow is going to make my sunblock brighter yellow. You guys, how about sunglasses? Put some sunglasses in there. Sunglasses would be really fun. You can put sunglasses coming out of your beach bag or on the, on the blanket. I'm kind of thinking I need another red stripe over here, I think. I'm liking that red look. It looks fun. But you are using your favorite colors. Again, okay, yours does not have to match mine. What color should I do the inside of my beach bag? How about, we haven't used any orange. Orange is a fun color. You can add orange to the sky. You can add orange dots. I'm going to do the inside of my bag orange. And maybe I do my handle yellow or blue.
And then, so I'm going to get my black marker again. So now you guys can add little dots for sand, but don't evenly space them because then it'll look like a pattern and you want it to look more scattered, right? So don't put them evenly all over. Just kind of randomly put them. Now what, oh, and don't forget, then you can outline. So I don't know what I'm going to, you know what I could do? I could turn that into a rainbow. I'll, I could try at least. So I don't like my, my giant dolphin in the sky. So maybe I make it into a rainbow in the background. So that's how you turn a mistake into art. No one knows, but you and me. Shh. Don't tell anybody. Really, you guys, I make mistakes and then I just try to turn it into something and and no one knows. So there's my dolphin rainbow. Maybe I would um, put a few raindrops so you know it, you know, I don't want it to rain on our beach day, but... And that's why you use a pencil so you can erase, right? But I was using marker so you guys could see it better. All right, so there's my rainbow in the sky. Now, now you can outline everything in black when well, you're done. And what I like to do is, again, wherever I made a mistake, I can just see where I went out of the lines. Watch. I'm just going to outline it. And I'm going to cover up my mistake. See that? So you can use crayon, you can use a marker, you can use a colored pencil, anything. And it doesn't even have to be a black outline. You can use the same color and just clean up your edges. You see that? So I'm just cleaning up my edges where I went out of the line. See, I'm hiding my mistakes. So here's a good example right here. See that? I'm covering that up. And you don't even have to outline it if you don't want to. Because you really do have to take your time and go slow. And really, after a, a period of time, your hand might get a little bit tired. Mine does. So you could stretch it out, just kind of stretch your fingers a little bit, you know, and take a break, come back to it later. So you, again, you really want to take your time. So especially when you're outlining, because this is the last thing you're going to do. Go slow. And if your marker or crayon's not that wide, you can put two lines together side by side to make a wider outline. Let me see if I have a joke for you guys. Why do fish like to eat worms? Did I tell you that joke? Why do fish like to eat worms? Because they get hooked on them. What is a shark's favorite sandwich? Peanut butter and jellyfish. Mm, I like the peanut butter part. What is a frog's favorite summertime treat? Hopsicles. What do you call a snowman in June? A puddle. Get it? What's black and white and red all over? A 
a zebra with a sunburn. Wear your sunblock. All right, so I'm just going to keep outlining. And again, you guys do it at your own pace when you have time. Make it your own. So I like to say art's like your handwriting. It's going to look different than everybody else's, right? Just like when you guys learn the ABCs and you were writing the ABCs and you copied the ABCs like your teacher did and your ABCs look different than your teachers and they look different than all your friends and classmates all around you. Well, art's the same way. You're going to draw in your style. You hold your pencil a certain way. You press down a certain way. There's a certain angle to it. So that's what makes art so amazing and so different is that you have a style and it's different, right? And it's supposed to be different no matter what, right? So don't judge yourself. Just do your best and keep practicing. All right, there's my... Beach ball. So my, see how my shell is really close to the color here? So I probably should have made a different color shell. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure I outline it because it blends into my, into my blanket. So that's what I meant about using a different color so that it shows up better. I'll put a few more dots in here for sand. I'm going to outline this inner tube here. How's that? And then again, if you want to outline anything, you could put, even put, oh, this is a good place to put sunglasses. You could add sunglasses to your sunshine. Right? You can add an animal if you want to add an animal. Whatever else you want to add to your artwork because it's yours. Oh, and then lines. So if you want to put the lines in here for the water. You could add maybe some seagulls. I like to watch the birds fly over the water. I don't like the birds to come eat my snacks. Right? All right, this is just to be silly. No, no, no. You probably don't even know that music I was going to say. You guys don't know that, but I do. Anybody, you know, when I was a kid, there was a movie called Jaws, and it scared me so bad that I wouldn't even take a bath because I was afraid that a shark was going to come in my bath. So his fin probably should be angled a little bit more. Like that. It almost looks like a triangle, but maybe it's a whale. 
maybe it's a sailboat. Oh, you could add a sailboat. You could add a whale. You could add a shark fin. You could add fish. Whatever it is that you guys want. Anybody else want to say hi before we go? Let's see. I see this. Hi, guys. Whatever it is that you guys want. Anybody else want to say hi? Yay. How are you guys coming? Hold up your pictures. Hold them up. They're awesome. I love them. Great job, you guys. Thank you for sharing. You guys are so funny. Thanks. <laughs> and they got a little, is Miss Camps want it? There's Miss Camps class. Oh, you guys are awesome. And send me pictures. Oh, oh, be careful. You guys go back to your seat. Go back to your seat. Don't rush the camera. Don't rush the camera. Your poor teachers. Stay in your seats. Remain calm and carry on. <laughs> you guys. So here's what I want you to do. Keep creating. Think outside the box. That means think differently, right? You guys can write a poem. You can write a story about your beach picture. You can send me pictures and I'll share them, okay? Edison Elementary, thank you so much for creating with me. Oh, we have another Miss Trem's class. Here's Miss Trem's class. Hi, guys. Look, they stayed in their seats. Good job. Thank you for staying. A plus. Hold up your pictures where you are. Just hold them up. Ooh, look at that fun carpet. I like your classroom. I love that super colorful carpet. You guys did a great job. And I'm, you know what? Take your time. So you guys don't have to keep up with me, right? You guys do it at your own pace. I go pretty quick. Just try it and get it done within an hour, right? Because some people lose their patience. I'm one of them, but you do it at your own pace. And I have Miss Vitovic's class here. Lose their patience. I'm one of them, but you do it at your own pace. Wait, and I have wait. Miss Vitovic's class here. Let's go. Yes. Yes. So, go so slowly. <laughs> You guys did great. Oh my gosh, you guys are so silly and so funny. So I'm one of those people who like to move around too. So um, even if you, uh, you know, up to your teacher, but even if you stand at your desk, it's actually really um, good. A lot of artists when creating stand up when they're creating their artwork. So, you know, standing at your desk or sitting at, when I was an art teacher in school, I would always give kids that option to stand as well, just to, cause I get, you know, like I got to move a little bit, right. Especially when I drink too much coffee. So I hope you guys had fun. Thank you so much for creating with me. Did I get, Yay. yeah, I think I got all of you guys that are here, Miss Camp, Miss Wagner and Miss Trem's class. And if I didn't, you can wave at me and I'll do it again. So you guys, I'm on YouTube, Artist at Heart Paint Party over the summer. Go on YouTube if you can and find some art classes and just and find that dolphin because there's a dolphin on there too. And keep creating and be careful this summer. Ride your helmet on your bicycle. Stay out of the street. Look both ways when you cross the street. And be careful when you go swimming. Okay, that's those are my and wear your sunblock so you don't get sunburned. But those are my tips. And keep reading over the summer. Find some good, fun summer books. Go to the library. Find silly stuff, but keep reading, okay? You don't want to lose. You got to use it or lose it, right? And you don't want to come back next year and not read as well as you are right now. So keep creating. Think outside the box. You guys, thanks so much for creating with me. Have a wonderful summer, and I'll see you again real soon. Bye, you guys.